Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to easily design a logo for your brand or dropshipping store. I'll show you the simple process I follow to create professional looking logos for all my stores within minutes. So let's just jump into it. First, I'm going to assume you already have a name for your store. But if you don't, let's quickly make one. Now, unless you already have a winning product and niche in mind, choose a name that fits that well. For me, I'll just pick a random four letter word and choose a general name that could mean anything and I could sell any type of product on. So let's start by going to NameQL and for a generic name, you can just pick a random word like Dawn or Rice and see which, what type of examples you get. I just wrote in Rice, let's see what, what we got. We got High Rice, Vibe Rice, Spear Rice. And from the list, I kind of like the name Spear Rice. Let's just go with it. We're going to use Canva to build our logo. So go to canva.com and click Create Design. Then click Logo. Once you're in your project, you can just pick any type of template from the right side to build your logo. But personally, I like building my logos from scratch, so let's do that. So I just made a project for us to start testing and designing our logo. To start designing, press T on your keyboard and you'll get a simple text box. There, write your brand name. We had Spurize. Now if you're completely lazy, you can just leave it at that. But if you want to test a bit more and find some different fonts and variation to see, your, to see how your logo will look, you can test that here. You can quickly duplicate the text by right-clicking it and then choosing a different font, such as Bebas. Now you've got a completely different style of logo. Let's do it one more time. From the list, you can choose any type of font you want. Let's try Poppins. This is another very simple generic one and you can use it for any type of store. Now we could just leave it at that, but let's try adding an icon to the logo. And the best place to find free logos is flaticon.com. Since we're still using a very generic name, let's try finding a very generic icon for it. We can start by writing spiral and seeing what we get. Now we get a cool list of icons that we can choose for our logo. I wouldn't really think it over too much and just pick the first one. On the page, simply download it as a PNG or just copy it if you're lazy like me. Go back to your Canva project and paste it. Then you want to resize it real quick and simply put it next to your text. And very quickly, you have a professional logo ready to go. Now from all the three examples, I like the top one the most, so I'm going to get rid of the others. Next, I'm not sure if I like the spiral the most, so let's try some other icons. Let's try writing for triangle. Now these are very generic, so let's try going to the second page and see if we can find something better. Okay, now I think I like this one the most. So let's get it. Now just resize it, make it fit the logo. There you go, you got the second logo done. And for the third icon, let's write something different. Let's write it fire. I kind of like this one. Let's copy it. Then you want to just quickly paste it back in Canva, resize it. And there you go, now you're ready to go. You have just made three logos in under a minute, basically. So let's see what they look like live in the store. So I quickly made some mockups of what our store would look like with these logos. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got our basic logos, but what if we want to be a little bit more original? To do that, let's get rid of the other examples, as well as the icon. Now let's say you don't want a generic looking logo, and you want something more original. The best way to do that is to play more with the fonts again. So let's go back in and see what other cool fonts we can find. For first example, I really like this gothic font, so let's try it out. Next, I really like this Glaker font. Let's use it. For the third one, let's try something more futuristic, like Gatwick. And on the fourth one, let's try something more urban, like Heretical. But I don't think the name really fits these logo types, so let's come up with some new brand names for these cool logos. Now look how much better the brand names look when they're stylized with a font that fits the name. The spooky brand name looks spooky. The kids brand looks like it's kids friendly. The futuristic name looks like it's supposed to be in the future. And the fashion one, uh, the fashion one looks kind of similar, <laughs> to be honest. And now let's start adding an icon to the logos. For the gothic name, let's go with a bat. I kind of like this one, so let's copy it. Then as always, just simply make the image smaller. And boom, first one's done. For the kids brand logo, I think the ABC blocks would work perfectly for it. I like these ones. I just copy them. Then just resize them real quick, move them into the logo, and boom. Now we got a kids blocks logo. For the hyperlight, I'm thinking a star. I think that would look really well for it. This, this is exactly what I was talking about. Let's copy it. Then you simply make it smaller again and put it next to the logo. Then you just align it and boom, we got a hyperlight logo. Now for the fashion, let's just find a dress. Yeah, I think the first result is good enough. Let's just go with it. Then just resize it so it fits the logo. 
And there you go. And now in just a couple minutes, I made some awesome looking logos. Let's see what they will look like on a live Shopify store next. I think they turned out really well. They all fit the theme, they all fit the niche, and they all fit the product. And now you very quickly went from a very generic looking store to a professional branded looking store. Okay, so we now know how to design logos. So let's take what we just learned and use it to design two more logos. Let's start by building a logo for a fitness company. I kind of like the name Crown. So let's make Crown Fitness. Okay, that already looks pretty decent, but let's try customizing it a little bit by changing up the font and adding an icon. Now, I kind of like the font Frontus. It's nice and bold and it fits the name Crown. So let's use that. But if we make both the top text and the bottom text both the same font, it doesn't really look that professional. So let's try changing it with a different font so it both flows together. I kind of like this monster red font, so let's keep using it. But let's start changing the size of it as well as the boldness. Okay, that looks better, but now it's a little bit too small. Let's try increasing the gap between the letters to fill up the space. Now that looks a lot better. Let's try finding a cool icon for it as well. So let's just try searching for a crown. I like this first one, so let's just go with it. Just paste it back in Canva, and you know the process. Simply take it, resize, and move it. Boom, one logo down. Let's try making a second one as well quickly. Okay, we just made a very minimalist style logo. Let's try making a more aggressive version of the logo for a supplement company called Primal Energy. Now again, the default one looks fine, but let's try customizing with some custom fonts. I like this Lalo font. Let's use it. And for the bottom text, let's try using Carminion. Let's adjust the size a little bit, and now it looks a lot cleaner. Now let's try finding an icon for the logo. If it's called Primal, let's look up a gorilla. Again, I kind of just like the first one, so let's just go with it. And boom, now we made two sick looking logos in just a couple minutes. Now let's look what these logos would look like on a professional e-commerce store. Let's start with Crown Fitness. So let's start building a mock-up for Crown Fitness. We'll start by placing the logo. Sizing it down so it fits. Okay, so what kind of product would Crown Fitness sell? I think parallel bars would work perfectly for a store like Crown Fitness. So let's try designing a product page for them. Okay, so I got an image of some parallel bars. Let's put it on the product page. Okay, that already looks pretty decent. But I feel like it's missing something. Let's try giving the parallel bars a background color. And you simply go to the elements tab and grab a square. Then just resize it to fit the product page. And choose your brand color. Then just move it back by, by right-clicking and send it back. And now your product page looks a lot better. But I think we can tweak it a little bit more. Let's click on the image of the parallettes, go to Edit Image and Shadows. There, go to Drop Shadow, Edit, lower down the opacity, the blur a little bit, as well as the opacity. And just like that, in a couple seconds, we designed a professional looking fitness store. Easy as that. Let's try making a store for the supplement company now. Let's go back and copy the Primal Energy logo. Okay, I made a quick blank mock-up again. Let's try pasting the Primal Energy logo now and seeing how it looks on the product page. Now that looks really clean. Now what kind of products would Primal Energy sell? I would say supplements. So let's try finding a supplement product to put on the store. I found this Gorilla Mode pre-workout PNG. Let's try just using it for the example. Just paste it in, put it in the product description, and bam. This is what your store would look like. But once again, let's try editing it a little bit more. Let's drop in another square to give it a backdrop to the product. Change the color to your brand color and then move it back. Then just center it again, and boom, that already looks a lot better. But I think we can move it one step further. Now, if you go to Google and look up something like Water PNG, you're going to find some transparent images of water. Let's try using this in our product image. I just found this Water PNG quickly on Google. Let's try using it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now let's try adding some watermelon PNGs to really show how much flavor is in the product. To do that, we can just go back to Google and look up watermelon PNGs. From there, just pick whatever works for you. Now I found this small collection of PNGs, and let's try adding them to the image to make it pop more. And just like that, we just upgraded the simple product image into a product image that really shows how much flavor and energy is in the product, as well as showcasing the amazing logo. 
And so I hope you really can see how much better the store looks with professional logos and awesome product images. It really makes the stores pop and make them look professional and trustworthy. So I hope this tutorial helped. And if you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Peace.